Hey guys, what is up? We're back with another video in this series of mining jobs in Canada. Last time we talked about Vancouver and jobs you could get there. Today we'll be talking about jobs in Alberta. So if the cost of living is too high for you in Vancouver, well, consider coming to Alberta. Uh, mainly the cities we'll be talking about today are Calgary, which is where I'm currently living in right now, and Edmonton as well. So let's get things started right away. Um, we've got a mine planning engineer position with CNRL. So CNRL is an oil sands company. Um, there are quite a few of oil sands company because that's mainly what Alberta mines. Um, and so this mine planning engineer position is a seven, um, seven days on, seven days off work schedule, 12 hour shift, flies out of uh, Calgary. Um, and this job, you'll be typically doing the um, typical mine planning stuff. So like um, mine engineering designs, um, creating mine plans. Um, this position didn't specify whether it's like short range planning, looking after the day to day or like a mid range planning, looking after anywhere from like one month or three months. Um, but there are, this is what the position is. Um, and this specific one requires five plus years of work experience. Occasionally, there are positions that um, hire CIT, so uh, be on the lookout for those ones. And what you also need is a mine engineering degree and also a class 5 driver's license. And to add on earlier, so mainly they're looking for, they're probably looking for the uh, people who are flying in, fly out of Calgary, um, set the seven days on, seven days off, but they are uh, living in camp but they actually do have positions for five days on, two days off. So the regular Monday to Friday um, based out of Calgary as well. And again, I think this will really come down to whether it is a short range position or uh, maybe something that's a little bit more in the medium term or long term uh, planning position. All right, this next one is a project mine engineer position with Agnico Eagle. Now this position is a 21 days on, 21 days off schedule fly in fly outs out of either Edmonton or Calgary. Now these positions, of course, the, the draw back is the really long work days and it may be hard to connect with um, people in your social life or personal life. Uh, but the big draw to it is also the 21 days off. So if you want to, I don't know, take some really long vacations or go travel somewhere, then this would be the perfect job for you. So about the mine itself, this is the whole Bay Gold Deposit, and it's actually located uh, 685 kilometers uh, north of Yellowknife. So what will you be doing in this role? Well, you'll be responsible for design and execution of mine planning products and services, um, anywhere from short range mine planning, medium range planning, so that's up to three months, uh, mine ventilation, mine support work, mine project works, anything uh, related to the technical operations of the mine. So you'll also be responsible for uh, assisting with technology expansion projects, um, working for, with the drone blast technicians to align on priorities, and also working with the geologists to align on um, stockpile management and priorities as well. So what is required for this role? Well, you need four to five years of work experience ideally, um, and also a PNG designation and also experience working in a multicultural environment. The next role is a mine engineer slash project engineer role with Rio Tinto, one of the world's largest mining companies. Now, actually, I wasn't able to find a job posting for this one that hires um, full-time engineers. So I was using the uh, intern position to reference what the uh, flying file schedule work days will look like. But I do personally have friends that are currently working in Rio Tinto. So um, at this specific mine as well. So I do know that they do hire full-time engineers. And so for Rio Tinto, this is the Divic Diamond Mine specifically. Um, they do a flying fly out out of either Edmonton or Yellowknife, and it will be a two week on, two week off schedule, um, 12 hour work days. And because I don't have actually the specific job postings, um, I would imagine it will be fairly similar to the one that I just mentioned previously with Agnico Eagle, where it would be responsible for looking after the um, technical designs and execution of mine plans for the mine planning services team and working with operations as well. The next position is a consulting associate with ERM. ERM is the world's largest specialist sustainability consultancy, and this position is actually available in Sudbury, Saskatoon, and Calgary as well. 
And there's actually multiple positions um, for this one, as in there's like the a junior range, which is the zero to four years, and also like a more senior role, which is five plus years. And salary wise, what's stated in the job posting, the senior posting pays around 90K to 105k um, and so for the remainder of this uh, job description I'll be focusing more on just the junior position um, so what you'll be doing is you'll be helping out with uh, phase one and phase two environmental assessment uh, looking after mine remediation and mine closure work closure cost estimates as a retirement obligation and management of a closure plan you may also need to coordinate and support some field testing so that that could be error testing water testing, soil sampling, dust testing. And so therefore you need a driver's license and be eligible to be registered as a member in training um, of whichever province that you're based out of. And lastly, having an additional language will be an asset. Um, so this position is actually fairly similar to the role that I'm currently in with Okane Consultants. All right, last and but not least is a project manager mining consulting role with WSP. So this is another uh, major consultancy, engineering consultancy. So what you'll be focusing on is mine engineering design, uh, feasibility studies, field investigations, and environmental permitting. And because you are a project manager, you'll be working closely with technical managers to ensure that projects are delivered on scope and on budget as well. What is required for this role? Well, you need five years of experience preferably three years of uh, experience in consulting or in a project management role. So there you have it, five jobs you can get in Alberta, mainly out of Calgary or Edmonton. Um, these are five that I could find at the moment, but I know there's a lot of other companies out there that would um, hire and have you work out of Calgary. So for example, the original equipment manufacturers, Komatsu, Caterpillar, uh, maybe Finling as well. I know people that work in all three of these companies living out of Calgary, uh, but it's also possible that you could be living out of Edmonton. Um, there's other oil sands companies that you work with, for example, Suncor, um, but typically for Suntos, Suncor position to me have maybe around eight to 10 plus years of experience at the minimum. Um, Imperial Oil as well, so that's another oil sands mining company. Um, there's other several consultancies um, that you could work based out of Calgary as well. So thank you for watching this video. We cover Vancouver and Calgary and next up in the series will be Toronto. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. And if there are any specific topics you want me to cover, for example, like what's the, what's it like living in those three cities and I'll be happy to cover those as well. So thank you so much and we'll see you guys next time.